Join me as we visit two brand new CEX stores to discover if we strike out or strike steel, steelbook hunting in CEX. Hello again folks and welcome back to another episode of Steelbook Hunting in CEX and I have to emphasise that word hunting. That's because in this series so far we have found there are many different ways that CX display steelbooks on the shelves. Sometimes it's the actual steelbook, sometimes it's a replacement case, sometimes it's even a sleeve or sometimes they're hidden behind the counter. But this is the emphasis. You have to hunt for these steelbooks as sometimes with human error you can miss some that are right under your nose. This time we're going to be hunting for steelbooks in two brand new CEX stores. Let's hope we strike steel rather than strike it out. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and please subscribe as I put new videos out every set of live at five as well as bonus content throughout the week and I really want you folks along for the ride. Now, let's hit CEX. We're starting our hunt for steelbooks this time in one of the newest CEX stores in the country. This store opened in Bury St Edmunds in early 2023 and it's a really, really good CEX store. If you saw my recent episode of the crazy world of CEX, you will know this store is absolutely packed with some of the best retro that I've ever seen in any CEX store. But today we are looking for steelbooks and starting off, unfortunately, there were no steelbooks to be found here in the PlayStation 5 section, but it's early days. So moving on from the PlayStation 5 to the PlayStation 4, and it is normally a good bet you're going to find some steelbooks in the PlayStation 4 section. And yes, we have struck steel for the first time this episode with Beyond a Steel Sky in, ironically, a steelbook. But here is the thing, when I'm looking for steelbooks in CEX, I'm looking for the bargains. And unfortunately, this one can be bought cheaper online. At the end of the day, I'm a patient man, I will wait for price drops, and a lot of these games will become cheaper over time. So we are looking for the absolute bargains, because as we have seen so far in this series, there is some absolute cheap steel gold that you can pick up in CEX when it comes to steelbooks. But half the battle when it comes to steelbook hunting in CEX is actually finding said steelbooks. This was super cool, House of Dead Lenticular 3D effect cover. Very nice, but it is not a steelbook. And we are coming to the end of the PlayStation 4 section. Now I do find most steelbooks that I find in CEX are either in the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One section just because they are the most recent consoles and at the end of the day, these are the biggest sections in a majority of CEX stores. But it looks like we're only going to find the one steelbook so far in the PlayStation 4 section. I did think this Yakuza game could have been a steelbook because a lot of these slip cases can hide steelbooks. And this is when it comes down to hunting. You have to check everything. Like, I nearly missed this one. Like a Dragon steelbook. And this is a really, really good looking steelbook. But... I think I can pick this one up cheaper. It did have a little bit of damage. It's not very obvious on here, so I did pass this time. Much like the PlayStation 4 section, it doesn't take us very long to find our first steelbook in the Xbox section. Now, this is unfortunately one I do already have in the collection, the Bayonetta and Vanquish double pack. Definitely one of the best looking steelbooks you can buy, and I'd highly recommend both those games. They are both absolutely incredible games, which you need to play. But I was not expecting to find my favorite racing game of all time, Forza Horizon 4, in a steelbook. And this, quite possibly, is the best looking steelbook I've ever seen. This is a thing of absolute beauty from... I think quite possibly my favourite racing game of all time. It may be a couple of years old now, but I still do not think Forza Horizon 4 has been bested. Even by Forza Horizon 5, I still prefer Forza Horizon 4. Probably still my favourite racing game of all time, but I digress. We're getting through this Xbox section pretty quick in here. It was surprisingly small for quite a large store, and... It doesn't look like we're going to find any more steelbooks here, but it was a shame. But there's some cool ones here. One out of two ain't bad. 
Going back to what I was saying earlier, at CEX at the moment you are most likely to find steelbooks in either the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One section, but you may get lucky and strike steel in the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 section. There were many, many steelbooks released for both of these consoles, but here is the thing, they are slowly getting snapped up and added into collectors collections, meaning they will never find their way back into CEX. At the end of the day, CEX pays the same price price for trading for a majority of steelbooks they would for the standard version of the game and collectors like me are going to snap up these steelbooks especially when again in a majority of cases the steelbook is the same price as a standard version of the game and unfortunately this time we didn't manage to find any steelbooks in either the playstation 3 or the xbox 360 section but i never give up and i never give in as when steelbook comes against cex you never know what's just around the corner and in a section where i don't very often find steelbooks i have found not one but two steelbooks and this is a steelbook which i've passed on before because i let my friend and fellow youtuber ps too many games pick it up to add it to his collection but it looks like my patience has paid off as I found not one but two copies of the iconic Peter Jackson's King Kong for the PlayStation 2 and this one is in fantastic condition with the outer sleeve and this is a really really good looking steelbook and one which I think in years to come is going to get harder and harder to find. So that was our first CEX store this time. Bury St Edmunds, an absolutely fantastic CEX store packed with retro and to be honest finding two steelbooks ain't half bad. Let's head to our next CX store and find out if we'll strike out or strike steel, steelbook hunting in CEX. The next store we're visiting this time is Cambridge and this is a fairly large CEX store and straight away we don't have to wait long to find our first steelbook Bloodborne Collector's Edition, even though it is an eye-watering £280. But let's head inside and try and find some slightly cheaper steelbooks. So, going through the PlayStation 5 section, unfortunately it doesn't look like there's much here. Now, this was a surprisingly small PlayStation 5 section, but I think in years to come, this section is only going to grow as the PlayStation 4 and, of course, PlayStation 3 section sadly get smaller. And that's where we're going to head now, straight onto the PlayStation 3 and sadly again this section was fairly small but this is the thing with steelbook hunting you never know where they're going to be they could be behind the counter they could have replacement cases they could be in slip cases when it comes to steelbook hunting in cex that is what you literally have to do you have to hunt for these steelbooks as they can be very very well hidden and unfortunately, so far, it seemed that they were so well hidden, I couldn't find any steelbooks. Here's the thing, it is never guaranteed that you're going to find a steelbook when you go into CEX, but fingers crossed as we finish up here in the PlayStation 3 section, the next section we hunt is better. Hunting for steelbooks can be hard in CEX, as this next section is going to prove. So I'm going for the Xbox 360 section here, and I miss a steelbook hiding in plain sight. But comment below if you can see the steelbook which I have missed. I was kind of annoyed that I missed this the first time round, but fear not, I did find it when I went through a second time. It goes to prove you have to check twice. And would you believe it, when we head to the Xbox One section, lightning strikes twice. Again, in this first Xbox One section, I missed a steelbook hiding in plain sight. So again, comment below if you see the steelbook that I missed. Now, unfortunately, when it came to the Xbox One section, there wasn't any other steelbooks than the one I missed earlier, which was really annoying. But fear not, when I go to CEX, I always do two passes of the shelves just in case I miss any steelbooks. So stay tuned for later in the episode and I'll show you what steelbooks it was that I missed. But we are heading straight into the PlayStation 4 section. Once again, scanning for steelbooks. In my defense, I did visit this store quite late in the day after visiting many, many CEXs and charity shops early in the day. And it goes to show when you are tired, mistakes can be made, but it's always worth checking twice because I once again nearly miss this one, the Hitman Season 1 Steelbook, one I already have in the collection but a really good value Steelbook and a really, really good game. At the end of the day, it, it's not just down to the Steelbook, it's all about what game is inside the Steelbook as well and Hitman is a fantastic game. 
Finishing up here in the PlayStation 4 section, unfortunately nothing else to see, but thankfully I did go round and sweep some of these shelves again, as like I said earlier, I did miss some steelbooks, but fear not, we are not going to strike out in Cambridge. We're going back for the stragglers. In fact, I was so worried about missing out finding any steelbooks in Cambridge. I even checked the PC game section. Yes, it's a long shot, but you never know. Unfortunately, I did strike out here. But like I said, there was some stragglers and I did go back and find this game. Forza Motorsport 4 Steelbook and Artbook in this really nice sleeve. So pat yourself on the back if you saw this one hiding on a shelf earlier in the episode. Like I said, it can be so easy to miss these steelbooks. And whilst this isn't the most exciting steelbook of all time, it's still a really good racing game. Sometimes even the best games don't have the best steelbooks, but I love all steelbooks equally. I'm really happy to add this one to the collection. And the other steelbook which I missed on the first pass was hiding here in the Xbox One section. Here it is down the bottom, easily missed. So again, pat yourself on the back if you saw F1 2016. Now, unfortunately, even though this was three pounds, if you look very closely, you may notice it has a slight amount of damage. So I did leave this one behind. There was one more steelbook hiding in the Xbox One section, which again, I very nearly miss. And it is this one, Sifu. But here is the thing. This is a recently released game and I'm a patient man. This game will get cheaper over time. And that is when we will pick up the bargain steelbook. It is a really, really nice looking steelbook and one I'm definitely excited to add to my collection. But hopefully the price of this one will drop. Just before we head back to the games room for the pickups, always remember to check behind the counter for your steelbooks. Here we are then back in the games room from another steelbook hunt. And again, this time we did manage to strike steel. And in the first CX store, we visited one of the newest CX stores in the UK in Berries and Edmonds. I managed to pick up one of my favorite racing games, quite possibly my favorite racing game of all time, Forza Horizon 4 and this steelbook is a thing of absolute beauty and yes it does even come with the slip case this time and for £10 this is one of the best looking steelbooks I think I've ever picked up and this is in absolutely fantastic condition and this is one I'm super happy to add to my steelbook collection. The second steelbook I managed to add to the collection this time is one we actually passed on last time because I let my friend and fellow YouTuber PS Too Many Games pick it up. It is King Kong for the PlayStation 2. And again, this is in absolutely amazing condition. Once again, with the slipcase. And again, this is an absolutely fantastic looking steelbook. Now, it's fairly rare you find steelbooks for the PlayStation 2. They are fairly limited. But this, I'm sure you'll agree, is a very good looking steelbook. I'm actually fairly surprised that the second CX store we visit in Cambridge, which is a much larger store, I only managed to pick up one steelbook. That's because unfortunately quite a few of the steelbooks were damaged and some of the newer release games are still at quite a high price. But here's the thing, I'm a patient man and I know a lot of these newly released games will get cheaper over time and that is when we will pick up the bargain steelbooks. But I did still manage to find one steelbook hiding on a shelf in Cambridge and you could easily miss this one because Forza Motorsport 4 is actually in this fairly large slip case. So this is one of the ways you could easily, easily miss a steelbook. But this one does have a bit of a bonus as well. It does come with this very nice little art book. And of course it does come with a steelbook, which is unfortunately not quite as exciting as the Forza Horizon 4 steelbook, but it's still a really nice one to add to the collection. There we have it and folks, two more CEX stores visited steelbook hunting and three more steelbooks added to the collection. But I want you to let me know in the comments down below which steelbooks have you recently found in your local CEX store. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe and join me next time to find out if we strike steel or strike out steelbook hunting in CEX. See y'all soon.